Hey guys, this is the APC Back UPS Series 650 VA device. It has the automatic shutdown feature and it also has a user replaceable battery. Those are the things which are missing from the APC Easy UPS Series, which I actually bought first and was quite disappointed to notice that they are missing from the device. But if you don't need those features, you can go ahead and check up above in the corner a link to my easy UPS video. For those of you who need the automatic shutdown functionality and you think the uh, user replaceable battery is a, a, an important feature, uh, let's jump into the video. This device does also provide search protection like all UPS devices. It has eight Shuko outlets so it has a six width battery and search protection and then it has two additional ones which is have only search protection. It has a, a USB charging port. Uh, here it says that the battery runtime is up to uh, 70 minutes, but there's a battery runtime calculator based on the load. We'll leave a link to that in the description. Here's a quick start guide, and it does come with the uh, USB cable sticker on it saying that turn product over, remove rear cover and connect battery. It also comes with a uh, quality assurance test. The quick start guide provides some information and it indicates how to connect the battery. I will show you that in a moment. It shows the different connections the device has with some explanations and how to turn on the device. Let's go over that in a moment. One thing I would like to note that it is a lead acid battery. It does need to be replaced on the website. They say in the specifications, I'll leave a link down in the description, that the battery should last uh, two to five years. Well, this is the power cord coming in. Uh, there's um, DSL modem network connection port here. You want to have the network cable to your NAS device, for example, to go through here. You could use that. Personally, I'm not going to use that. There's a, a circuit breaker, uh, which you can reset here if it jumps out during a, a power surge. Uh, then there's a data port. So this mentions the power shoot software. So this is where you, you plug in the, the cable. In my case, this came with the device, but here it says um, you can order a, a free cable from apc.com. And in the quick start guide, it says that the, this cable wouldn't come with the device. Um, maybe they have got that much feedback about it that now they have included it after all. Not sure about that, but if you don't get the cable, you can order one for free, but you just need to wait. The device will be when it's time to change the battery, so don't need to worry about that. Um, you open the cover by, by pressing here and then pulling, pulling the cover out. Uh, next, you need to connect, so the, the negative wire here is not connected for, for shipping purposes. You need to get the battery out. I found, found that's easiest to do by just um, tilting it a bit. Now we can connect the the terminal here. It also says in the manual that it's normal that there might be a spark when you connect it. Okay. I think that's it. We can let the battery slide down back into position and put the cover back on. Plug in the device. The cable is 1.8 meters long. Now I have plugged in the power cord. Pressing on the power button. The light started blinking green and the 
power LED is also green. It is for all. Battery stat status LEDs indicate the remaining runtime on the device. When the battery is fully charged, all four LEDs illuminate. If you want to turn off the device, just press the power button for two seconds and it turns off. So I think the biggest reason to get uh, one of these UPS devices is to protect against power surges and protect against uh, power outages because um, for example for a NAS device you have your hard disks in there unexpected power outage might cause your data to get corrupted on your disks and of course a power surge could destroy your hard disks and also some other hardware like your power supply or your motherboard and so on or for a for a gaming rig um, you have expensive hardware which you want to protect so this is a kind of cheap insurance against situations like that i have had it plugged in now for a week or so and it doesn't get hot to the touch some of the ups models I know do get hot in normal use, so um, that's something to keep in mind. If you want to use the data port on the APC UPS, it's located over here. And the other end is in my NAS device in one of the USB ports. In the QNAMP control panel under external devices we can find the ups configuration i've now on purpose configured the usb connection and the setting to turn off the server after ac power fails for one minute so that we can test uh, turning the power off and seeing the device uh, shut down so let's simulate the power failure by unplugging you can see that the LED started to blink, indicating that it no longer has power. The QNAP NAS is still running, so let's wait. And now we can see that it's saying uh, shutting down on the screen of the QNAP. And also here in the control panel it's saying system shut down. So it started stopping all the services. QNAP uh, safe shutdown takes multiple minutes to complete but the APC UPS does provide power with such a small load would estimate this is maybe around 50 watts according to the APC runtime calculator with 50 watts it provides uh, 56 minutes of power with 100 watts would provide 26 minutes of power. So now the QNAP has powered down. The LED indicator from the UPS still uh, show it's pretty much at full power. According to the QNAP manual, we have two options. There is a auto protection mode where the NAS will resume after the power uh, has been recovered to the UPS. And there is power off mode, the NAS will be shut down properly but it will remain off after the power is recovered so you have to manually power on the NAS or use wake on LAN or something like that so based on this research I opted for the auto protection mode and I have configured the QNAP to go into this auto protection state after five minutes it, it will st uh, stop all the running services and unmount all volumes to enter this uh, protected state so that when the power restores uh, it will boot back on again. You can also see some information about the UPS device. The battery capacity is now 82%. It also shows that the estimated protection time is 55 minutes. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.